And then the, the hydrogen combustion operates very similar to what we're all used to. And I'll tell you, as hydrogen continues advancing, I think we're going to see Dodge reemerge into the combustion engine world with the next generation of Hemis. Alright guys, so welcome back. Thank you for hanging out, spending a few moments here with me. If you're new, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Now I keep seeing videos and I'll tell you a lot of the, the Mopar community is a little bit down because you can no longer get yourself a brand new charger or challenger. The orders are closed and basically what's on the market is on the market. You know, everybody, if you're going to want a charger or a challenger, whether that's a 5.7, 392 Hellcat, you're going to have to get a used one now. Prices are actually starting to come down because not a lot of people are, are on the market for buying at this particular point. Uh, so, you know, that's beside the point. But I do see a lot of people that are very disappointed because the reality of the, the immediate future for Dodge is coming to fruition now. Uh, we are going to be seeing the next generation lineup very shortly. And for, from what we know, you're going to have the option between the current Durango, the Hornet, and then the Charger EV, which is two-door. And there's a ton of speculation as to what the official lineup is going to look like. Many think that the Durango is eventually going to get replaced with another nameplate from the past, more specifically the Dodge Stealth. And then you're going to have the Hornet, which is a recycled pile of sh**. And then you are going to have a Charger EV with also the inline turbo six option. And that would be either uh, the four door and or the coupe. OK, and it looks like the Challenger is uh, getting squeezed out and they're really changing their brand uh, to a, a complete 180, which is it doesn't make sense to any of us. But the thing that I really wanted to talk about was on the Stellantis website, you see a lot of their press releases and you could see that they're starting to dabble in other avenues, not just EV. Now, what they're telling everybody is that EV is the future, but they're also investing in a lot of other technologies. And I think that's because a lot of these companies are realizing that EV technology is just not there yet. I think uh, when it comes down to all the raw materials that are needed in order to make these, uh, they're realizing that we just don't have enough. And I think that they're putting their money in other avenues to see which one actually plays out. If you take a look, Stellantis is uh, investing in alternative fueling. That would help those of us that have current generation chargers and challengers. So we're going to have synthetic fueling and it would be zero emissions. And then another big thing that they're investing a lot of money into, and I've seen it multiple times in their press release now, is hydrogen powered vehicles and hydrogen technology. And there's two types of hydrogen powered vehicles. You have the fuel cell and you have the combustion and both of which can be filled up the same exact way. The difference is that a hydrogen fuel cell operates very similar to what an EV does. And then the, the the hydrogen combustion operates very similar to what we're all used to. And I'll tell you, as hydrogen continues advancing, I think we're going to see Dodge reemerge into the combustion engine world with the next generation of Hemis. And, uh, you know, I would say bear with Dodge. You know, I'm going to certainly be patient with them. I I love the branding that they've done in the, the last 15, 20 years. 
Uh, they went through a very rough patch a long time ago, and then they resurfaced, and I think the same is going to happen again. I think we're going to see them reemerge with the next generation of Hemi, and all of us that are in our Chargers and Challengers are going to sit around and start dabbling about getting getting ourselves into that next generation of Hemi. And uh, it may be five years from now, it may be even sooner than then, but um, you know what, guys? Hang tight. Hang on to your cars and watch the news play out as, as it may. Don't get down on this stuff. Remember, there's plenty of Hemis out there. And, um, you know, just keep yours in good shape. So, all right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm always interested to hear what you have to say. And I'll check you on the next upload.